Yeah. I think photography found me. I think I tried everything else. I think I tried playing guitar, I tried graphic design, and had no, I didn't have the patience for it. Photography just seemed to be a perfect fit. My name is Matthew Finn. I'm here at the Leica Academy in Mayfair, working with students from the photography course at Ravensbourne. Can you give us a quick overview of the assignment you've set them? Yes, I mean, today we're going to be looking at, or the students are going to be looking at street photography, notions of street photography, how you go about um, resolving the issues around photographing on the street. The students can actually produce a small series of images which one complement one another, and that as an audience we can get to see what it is they were trying to say and look at. This idea of how they finish in school, or how they actively involve. My heroes worked in black and white. The American heroes, Lee Friedland, Gary Winogrand, you know, they worked in black and white, and I wanted to echo that. Also, I can't see in colour. You know, I, I walk, I walk around the city, and it's colourful, but I can't see photographically in colour. Mm -hmm. It's almost like something shuts off. What one thing just to bear in mind is, if you're getting confused, where your focus is. If the tab. They're a safe pair of hands for me. I don't have to worry about them. One of the reasons I use Leicas is they do exactly as they're told. I don't want the camera to be a compromise. I don't want the camera to get in the way. I, I don't want to have to worry about what the camera's doing. I want the subject to be at the forefront. And mm. the thing with Leicas is they, they allow you that. And that for me is very important. I mean, it has changed. I mean, it's changed in the certainly the time scale I've been involved with photography. I mean, what I would say to all students is be positive, mm. be polite. I think politeness is a, is a very underrated uh, response to actually getting acceptance and make yourself visible. I mean, if you're not visible, then nobody can be aware of what you're doing. You know, they may think about their Instagram accounts, they may think about Facebook and Snapchat, but photograph. I would say really photograph and really look at your work I'd also think about working collaboratively. Really use the experience of what a university can give to you. And it's about elevating your practice through language and your photographs. For me, a university is a safe place. It's a place where you can galvanise, you can get ideas, and you can make mistakes. And something about making mistakes makes you a better photographer. Just following the sun really, seeing who was about, hopefully finding people with bright clothing. There are a lot of police around for some reason, I think the Queen was home or something. So uh, there was quite a lot of commotion, uh, a lot of people running about. Uh, I was looking for shadows and I got a lot of shadows. Uh, people, it's quite specific, people crossing the road when they shouldn't be, like in between traffic and things like that. Didn't you get into a studio as well? Oh yes, I also went into a studio with an artist that makes shapes out of uh, cards, recycle cards, and I just took some portraits of him inside and outside his shop, so that was his gallery actually, so that was pretty fun.